Well, Monsanto says that we're gonna double corn yields in the next 20 years. Personally, I think it might even come a little sooner, but I just wanted to tell you oh, Darren's okay. list. Good, good. Dar here's Darren's list on how we're gonna gain 150 bushels in the United States U.S. average corn yield. Darren says, Better seed will mean 60 bushels. Yeah. Better fertilizer, 20. Fertilizer placement, 10. Seed placement, 15. Rain, 15. Drainage, 10. Organic matter, 10. And seed treatments, 10. You got comments, Darren? Well, I do. You know, first of all, let's talk about the seed. And when Monsanto says, yeah, we're going to double corn yields, it was interesting because I got to hear their CEO live talking to a group. And the first question he gets is, how are we going to double corn yields? How much of that are you going to do as a seed provider and a trait provider? And how much your farmers are going to have to do. He said, well, it's going to be a share. Maybe it'll be half and half. Who knows? The seed and traits are definitely going to improve yields. They're going to keep getting better drought tolerance, nitrogen utilization, uh, better weed control, better insect control, all these things. And you're saying seed is going to be about 40% of the 150 bushels well, we're going that's, to get. That's what I say. I mean, I think they're definitely going to help. And there's no doubt over the last 10 years that seed has gotten a lot better. So I think that's going to continue. Yeah, I, I, I would say that's probably true. I can't argue with that a lot. Well, but how about the fertilizer? Yeah, how now. about fertilizer? You really think that better fertilizer products, isn't oh. urea exactly the same as it was 40 years ago? Isn't yeah, potash? That's the problem. Isn't exactly, Brian. Are you playing right into me or what here? Of course it is. That's the problem. We don't have a lot of technology there and we're just starting to get some with some products that are making nutrients more available. Like for me on my farm, I'm using ProGerminator as my phosphorus source. I'm using SureK for potassium. Those products get into the plant rather than get tied up in the soil complex. Products like Avail are becoming very widely used around the country because it works and it gets more phosphorus into that plant. So as we're doing that, not only are we going to get more efficient with our fertilizer use, we're going to get better yields. Well, here's the way I look at the thing. Even if a guy doesn't want to go with the new technologies that are a little bit better, even if he uses the old stuff, if at least he uses the right rate, because we talk to farmers all the time that they say, oh, I'm putting on enough for my soybeans in my corn year, and then we run the numbers and we say, uh, no, you're not. You're using it all up in the corn. You have nothing left for soybeans. That's why you're getting 40 bushel beans and 200 bushel corn. You should be getting 60 bushel soybeans if you just fertilize for them. Yeah, I could probably and see 20 there. And as guys hit 250, 300, 350 bushels of corn, they're going to realize, wow, you know, I probably need to step up my fertilizer program. Okay, here's one that I don't disagree with you on. Placement of fertilizer, 10 bushels, is soon as guys quit broadcasting and start banding more, it doesn't have to be all banded or anything, but at least banding more, getting it right where it needs to be, and not overdoing it in the furrow. That's the other thing. Sometimes yep. guys will put too much in the furrow or of the, the wrong, wrong product. Products. Yep. Yes. So placement, I could see that. Okay, placement of seed, you say 15 bushels. Well, I don't at know. At least, at least. You know, <laughs> every field that I walk in, even our fields, we're not doing a good enough job. And frankly, this one goes on the equipment manufacturers as much as it does us as the farmers. Yes, we have to set the machines right. We have to spend more time with every possible adjustment we have on our planters, getting them just right. And we will definitely make a difference out in the fields of at least 15 bushels. But when we look at equipment, you know, look at how our seed is placed. It's just not accurate enough. We aren't quite good enough with a yeah, lot of Yeah, but what things. we've done is way better than what we used to have. Well, That's sure. why we switched planters just, like just a couple just of like years like ago. everything else. Right. You know, it's, it's getting better. It's getting better. I'm not saying that it's not a lot better but, than it was. But here's the thing. There's room for improvement. Uh, there is, but it's awfully hard on the manufacturers because we want to plant in mud and then we want to plant in sand and we want to do both of those within an hour. How are yeah. we going to do that? But Brian, you know, <laughs> all I'm asking is for a national average yield to go from 150 to 300. That's 150 bushels. Can't the equipment guys take on 10% of that yield improvement? I think they can. Okay. All right. Rain, you say 15 bushels. Well, we're going to get more and we have been getting more in our part of the world. You know, you think about South Dakota and you say, wow, that's really dry. When my dad moved to South Dakota in 1969, he said, oh my goodness, I'm going to the end of the world. It's going to be so dry out there compared to North Central Iowa. And it's definitely drier. But right now, we're getting a lot more rain well, than we Well, if you look at the last 100 years, the average continues to go up in the Midwest in terms of rainfall. We believe that's going to continue. Well, I don't know if I it'll make 15 corn, bushels more yield, but corn moves west, some. it just puts more humidity out in the air. I, I think it's really helpful. That's possible. Okay, better drainage, 10 bushels. <laughs> it's going to be a lot more than 10. But let's just <laughs> say this. You know, if you're in Iowa and you have everything pattern tiled and it's at a pretty narrow spacing, yeah, maybe you've got things pretty well worked out, but there's areas of the country like the Dakotas, for example, that need a lot more drainage tile. And there's areas like Minnesota where guys think they have it figured out, but they've got 100-foot spacings on very heavy ground. 
they need to get down to 50 or maybe even 25 foot spacings to get the most yep. out of their drain tile. Okay, organic matter and building organic matter. Oh, Problem was we used to see organic matter levels decreasing when ground got farmed. Now guys are actually seeing it increase as they reduce tillage. They put more corn and high residue crops into the rotation and they do what they can to overall build that ground instead of depleting it. Well, and the use of cover crops too. When you don't have yeah. a crop out there, you need to have a cover crop in your field. It doesn't cost you money. It's an investment in your farm and it will make you more money. Okay, and then the last thing here, seed treatments. How are seed treatments going to improve the yield? <laughs> Brian, seed treatments all the time are improving. You look at things like Pancho Votivo for this year, for example. There are a lot of guys nematodes. that are trying that out there. We're controlling yep. nematodes. Well, this is something we haven't had before. Yep. So there's, think about all the other things we don't understand. There's billions of microorganisms in a little I'm just, give, I'm just giving you a hard time. When I look at even quick roots, that gains us oh, and almost 10. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, that gains us about 10 bushels just from that thing alone, let alone all the new products. So anyway, I guess I can't fault you too much on the list. I really personally think that we're going to hit 300 bushel corn as a U.S. average faster than 20 years. I, I, think it'll, so. I think it'll be 15 to 18 years and we'll be there. Well, you look at how population is growing. We need to do this. And as farmers, we really need to step up and produce more food. It's very important for the whole world and for our property. Well, the problem is we're not going to do that if our Weed of the Week takes over. We'll show you how to control it on your farm coming up next.